Are you interested in understanding the differences between a machine learning engineer and a data scientist? Well, stay tuned today because I'll be sharing my insight into the responsibilities, career progression and salary expectations that you can expect in either career paths in the industry. Hi, my name is May and I'm a data science recruiter and welcome to another edition of Math and Magicians, where I share insights and trends into the world of big data. Essentially, one of the most basic ways I could explain the difference between a data scientist and a data engineer is this. Imagine if you're building a new vehicle, like maybe a nice racing car, for example, you're going to have someone doing the design of the concept around it, deciding, you know, what type of engine to put in. Is it going to be a race car engine or is it going to be an industrial moving van type engine, for example? You're going to have someone that goes through that process of design, experiments with different things, builds a prototype, tests it, etc. And then on the other hand, you're going to have someone that says, OK, here's the prototype, here are the design, sort of plans, etc. I'm now going to sort of build this out into something that my factory can create 100,000 copies of easily. And they will go through that process of building and being able to create multiple versions of that same vehicle from a factory perspective, for example. Essentially, the data scientist comes in and designs experiments, um, designs the process of building models to solve problems mathematically, statistically, they develop a prototype, they run it, they make sure it solves the problem, and then that prototype is then given to the machine learning engineer who then comes in and basically ensures that they can scale this up from a production perspective so that the whole organization can benefit off that model that's being created. So essentially, the data scientist is more sort of mathematically driven, they're more statistics driven, they're building models, they're testing, they're experimenting, whereas the machine learning engineer on the other side of things is actually making sure these models can be built to a much larger scale and a performance level can work so many people in the organization can benefit from it and keep utilizing it on a continuous basis. So those will be the first initial differences in their approach to what they're doing, the designer and the builder. So with the machine learning engineers specifically, they're going to benefit coming from a more software engineering background specifically because they're going to be doing a lot more programming. They're going to be into data structures and algorithms. They're going to understand distributed systems a little bit better. They will still have exposure and an understanding of model development and building, but they're not as focused on the details and intricacies of it. So a, soft, a machine learning engineer specifically is going to have really strong coding skills, not just in things like Python, but in more sort of infrastructure related areas like C++, more low level languages that can really help us run our systems in a live production environment. They're going to be better at those types of networking sort of issues around the scalability of making our models work successfully. On the other end, your data scientist is going to be more focused on, you know, the whole process of making sure that they can get data to test their ideas. So they'll, they'll have skills like SQL, for example. They'll be able to code up their models in languages like Python or R so they can experiment and test their ideas. Um, and they're going to have more sort of visualization tool experience. They're going to be more client facing, talking to the business a lot more to really understand and frame the problem. So that's how they will differ in terms of their coding expertise and the areas they'll be facing in the business respectively. In terms of salary expectations, data scientists, machine learning engineers will start off on similar sort of like 120K or so base salary for an area like New York, for example. Possibly the data scientists a little bit more um, to begin in their career, maybe 125, for example. And then as things progress, realistically, you should at the four year angle be looking at salaries in excess of 150 to possibly 175 plus K. Um, again, the machine learning engineer might earn slightly less than the data scientist, but as time progresses, there are opportunities where you might hear of a data scientist earning in excess of a million dollars. Um, it is possible, but those opportunities are few and far between. And it's not about just having a PhD and two years of experience and you can do that. Um, it does really take a long time to really build up a career as a data scientist that can command that sort of salary. Um, so just be mindful of that. 
And the reality is there are many more machine learning engineering opportunities than they are data science opportunities, which does mean that you do need to really have strong coding skills um, if you want that type of career trajectory. So just consider you know, those aspects of it when you're making a decision as well. And I think ultimately, you don't want to pick a career just because of the salary expectations. You really need to do an honest review of your skills and the skills that are required for each type of career path. You know, if you're a more mathematically inclined person and you enjoy talking to people, you really enjoy understanding what's happening in a business and trying to solve problems, then perhaps that data science route re really is more suited to your core skills and your core interests. Whereas if you love to be able to really build things and you're very comfortable coding, you love coding, then perhaps a machine learning engineering opportunity that places you in between you know, data science world and still a very strong software engineering background is possibly more suited to you. And it also means you can move between a more sort of software engineering role and a machine learning engineering role quite easily throughout the course of your career as well. So really think about and really do a good inventory of your skills personally and make sure that you're picking something that aligns to your skill sets more naturally because you're more likely to thrive in the longer term doing that. I really hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you'd like more tips on how you can spruce up your profile and optimize it for data science opportunities, please do download my cheat sheet below. I would love for you to subscribe, share, follow, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you on the next edition of Mathematicians.